Good morning, Vlogmas Day 8. It's 5.26 in the morning and we're on our way to surgery because I'm getting surgery today. Surprise! Basically, I had a breast augmentation in 2012, November 12th, and I got saline implants, 300 filled to 325. I didn't shut them off and talk about them and I didn't tell my parents or turtle mix the whole winter because I didn't want to like really put them out there or whatever. So I've had breast implants for three years now. Recently, like the last, I would say like six to eight months or so, they've just been bothering me. They, the skin's just like stretching like underneath my armpits, like they're moving that way. And so I went and saw a doctor about it and he said they have, the pocket blew out laterally. And so I basically, I, I just have to get them fixed. So that's what I'm doing today. And they are switching the saline out for silicone and they're actually gonna be smaller and they are putting a device called a Siri in, which is like an internal bra. It goes like this and it's inside to make sure that it doesn't happen again. And that's pretty much it. It's a very, it's much more expensive than the first go around and it's apparently gonna be more painful, so I'm a little nervous. And it's not as exciting as like the first time. Cause the first time you get, you're going from like no boobs, to like having boobs, you're like, oh, this is awesome. And now it's just kinda like, Boobs look fine now, but like they hurt, so <laughs> that is what's happening today. Surprise. My you should, you should like for the like simple terms, like the implants are coming out and they hurt, right? So you should, they're moving in a minute closer, right? Yeah. Well that's what I said. They like yeah. blew out <laughs> laterally, so they like I think it's because I use my chest muscles so much and he said it's because my implant is too large Was too large for my chest space, which is weird because I feel like a 300 cc implant is actually one of the smaller sizes you can get but It just like when your chest muscle moves it spreads like this like a fan and then I just want to make sure I was saying it right and it was it just like pushes them out like towards this way so like I can like feel the implant on the side I don't know it's just not like I can feel a saline implant which doesn't feel nice by the way I don't I regret getting saline so they're gonna move them closer together I guess and just put that Siri thing in so they don't move apart again because they blew out laterally and technically they bottomed down too because they're too low I don't know <laughs> they're all sorts of messed up they look fine like they don't look weird. They just don't feel good. And they don't sit like, I don't know. Uh, I probably shouldn't have recorded this at 5.30 in the morning when I'm like, half asleep. But reasoning for getting them to begin with, I don't know. Okay. So when I got breast implants to begin with, I had started working out already and I did my first competition, actually the week after my first competition. And I had uh, just lost all my weight and I don't have hips. And so I just didn't really feel like feminine, but like I kind of had like a boyish figure, I guess. So I'm just like straight up and down, I had no boobs. And it was just, I don't know, I never wore makeup or anything. I just never felt like feminine or like sexy or whatever. So I did it for me. And that's why I've never really said anything about it either. People ask all the time, like, are your boobs real? And I never say anything because I don't want to influence anyone else's decision. If you're going to get breast implants and you do it for you, don't do it because someone you look up to or someone you know did it and you like the way theirs look. Like, do it because you physically want it. Like, you think that it would better your self-confidence or your self-esteem or your happiness or whatever. I just don't want to wrongly influence anyone's decision, but now that it's Vlogmas and I'm vlogging every day, I feel like I just want to be open with you. And obviously I can't like hide the surgery because I can't freaking work out after this for a hot minute, so it's gonna be now. Oh, wait, what's the recovery is This is a technically a reconstruction surgery, not a initial augmentation. Um, so it's not like putting it into a fresh new body. It's like I'm putting it into something that probably already has some scar tissue and everything. Uh, so, ideally, I should be able to return to normal activity, or not normal activity, but like non-strenuous activity in a week. And then I have to refrain from working out from four to 
to eight weeks, anywhere in there. I just have to keep going back to my doctor and he'll tell me when it's okay. I'm gonna ask him again today though, because I feel like if you're, if my chest muscles are already like expanded to fit in an implant, so if you're just replacing it with another one, I feel like that area is already damaged, or already like healed over and damaged, you know? I don't know, I feel like maybe it won't be as bad. I don't know, I'll ask him. I need to reiterate that and see if it, Important things. We're just gonna put on a different shirt. <laughs> it's so excited to feel sorrowly with me. Am I so excited? This is what? Nurse Danae. <laughs> She's gonna be taking care of me this week. This is Nurse Christian who can't even put on a fucking shirt. <laughs> they were late. Come on. What's wrong? With you? <laughs> He's been over there shirtless for like five minutes. He just wants to be in the background of the vlog. Shirtless. <laughs> He's like, oh, God. Uh, my Christmas jammies on and some slippers because comfort is key. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 So it is a general anesthetic, just like you had before, okay? Um, all the medication gets through the IV for you to go to sleep. Once you're completely asleep, we put a breathing tube in. It does go down into your throat, and that'll come out before you can really wake up, okay? We're going to give you a cocktail when we take you back to the OR. What did I do? Is it recording? Can we show it? They put the IV in. <laughs> Christian and Danae are watching. And Danae's like, oh. Mm -hmm. And Christian's like, oh. <laughs> which makes me, of course, like super nervous. Oh. Okay. I haven't looked at it yet. I don't want to look at the footage later. It's just saline. I don't want to look at it. I mean, don't talk about It was just a pinch. It's not even there anymore. It's I can feel it. <laughs> so, anything you want to say to YouTubes? Farewell. <laughs> See you in four weeks. I'm just kidding. Vlog <laughs> See you in four weeks. Stop vlogmas. Vlogmas is continuing. Vlogmas is continuing. I feel like I'm going to probably edit this video. Yeah, you are actually making me look cute. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> so ugly. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Record yourself, bug bug. What do you feel about it? We'll do our own vlog. I'm just happy <laughs> that you're going to be happy after and not bothered. Yeah. And support your decisions. Yeah, I have to hold it good. Yeah, so they go hours, right? Yes, for that number, man. Outside if you need anything, otherwise he'll be here shortly to mark you and answer any of the questions you have about the surgery. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> it's now been about...
three hours or so since Nikki went in to surgery. Danae and I are just hanging out on the third floor. <laughs> it's now about three hours into surgery, right? 10? 10.30. Three and a half hours into surgery. Nikki's still there. They called us an hour ago. They called us an hour ago, so we're just chilling. Nikki lied and said that they had a pool and a ping pong table up here. As you can see, there's obviously nothing to do other than talk to Danae. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just my chair on my couch. So, yeah, she's good, I think. They called and said everything was good like an hour ago, so. Uh, she's probably about to be done, and then she has to wake up from her Anesthesia. drugs. Uh, anesthetics? Anesthesia. Anesthesia. Anesthetic is like oh, what they know uh, you with. Oh, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> that's what's up. Bored. <laughs> so, Christian, what do you think about Nikki's surgery? I think that she looked great to begin with, uh, but also at the same time, she says that she feels really uncomfortable and that, uh, you know, they were causing her pain and things like that. And so I just support whatever decision she wants to make, so. How do you think she's gonna be recovery? Brutal. <laughs> For at least, like, I think the first week will be hard. Yeah. But after that, like, they say like six to eight weeks recovery, but that's for like, I feel like people that, I feel like she's really in shape, really healthy. Like, I don't think it's gonna take her that long. But I think that, uh, yeah, about five or six days will be pretty hard. Then she'll be walking around and stuff, running around. So, um, I don't think it's gonna hurt too bad. Sweet. I hope it's like a week. Christian went in that room and then just closed the door and I didn't know where he went. <laughs> and then he comes out and what did you say? There's a bunch of alcohol in there. That's it. Well, go in the other door too. That was locked. You have to check all the doors. In this bullshit lounge. Damn. Can't believe said there's a pool table and a ping pong table. Literally there's nothing. There's nothing to do. We're going crazy. You can't sleep because it's super bright. That's a nice view I guess. Let's, let's see. Burger King. Okay, was it on? No, you don't. No, I just got one. You did earlier though. <laughs> okay, let's run our little legs around here. Oh, it's gonna be weird. Okay. Good. Yeah, oh gosh. Still drunk? Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. I feel <laughs> All done. I'm done. I'm alive. How you feel? Um, okay, not too bad. Not too bad. I feel like I hyped it up to be a lot worse. I don't know why. When you first get in bed, there's like a lot of pressure and everything. And this time I don't feel like that kind of pressure. It's just very sore like on the sides and stuff. So. I've got two really good nurses taking care of me. I was just drinking for Jimmy. <laughs> Anything you want to say to YouTube? It's probably the end of the video, right? You're about to pass out. Yeah, probably. Well, I don't know. Alright, maybe maybe not. Can we do tentative ending just in case? Yes. Okay, and that's the ending of Vlogmas. Boobmas. That's the ending of today's Boobmas episode. <laughs> so we're gonna watch Aladdin, because Christian and I watched the Broadway one, so now I just kinda wanna watch the cartoon. Um, and I'm probably gonna go to sleep. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.